we hope you had a great week. And as you can see, we are standing in front of the mass trap, so you know what that means. Yeah, so we got all the front suspension parts we need. Um, other than the air ride stuff, we still kind of got to figure out what we're going to do on that. But in this video, we're going to be showing you guys our idea on how we're going to do the front suspension on the mouse trap. So let's go ahead and show you guys the parts that we got and what we're going to use and uh, let's get started on this thing. All right. So here we are. Here's all the parts we're going to be using on the mouse trap build. We got our four high joints. We got our axle side brackets. We have our frame side brackets and also our frame gussets. So I'll go over here. We're going to start with this and show you what we're going to be doing with these two items. All right, so on the Crosley frame, we built it and welded it all together, but there's gonna be a lot of leverage on the front of this car. So I had my buddy Shane make these gussets and it's simply gonna go right there like that, weld all that together. And then these frame side gussets, they're gonna go on the side of the frame just like that. And then the, the link bars will go to the axle. It all kind of make more sense once we get going on it, but for right now we got to start somewhere. So let's go ahead and weld these to the frame and then we can weld our link bracket to the side of that. All right, we are clamping this thing down like the little clampets and then he's going to weld that up. Clampets? Yeah, clampets. <laughs> OCD's kicking in. <laughs> so the plan is now weld this up and then kind of go there. That looks very funny. good. I made these myself with a file. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I know you didn't. <laughs> I'm indecisive. You just put it back where you started. Well, I know. I just want it perfect. As my cousin would say, never be seen by a galloping horse. What? Right, now that I got the frame plate welded into place, I'm going to be welding this bracket onto the side of it here. This is our bracket. Uh, it comes in, I guess, eight different pieces, four pieces per part. So all of this goes together like that. So that's, after you assemble that, this is what you get. But now that I got it tacked together, I got to remove this bushing real quick so we don't overheat it, weld it up, and then we'll be installing that on there. Very good. All right, I'll remove this guy. Maybe. <laughs> There you go, here's our bushing. I don't remember the part number on all this crap, but basically it's a bushing and then we slid a piece of tubing over it, press it in there. And once we get our link bars on this, I'll have to remove this collar so we don't melt the bushing out of that. But here's our bracket. So let's weld it up good so we don't fall apart and stick it on the frame. Hotter than a house fire? It's hotter than a house fire. <laughs> There's one link bar. Woo, that baby is hot. <laughs> we can go ahead and, uh, while that one's cooling down, we can go ahead and get this one mocked up. Something like that. So, do you tighten those all the way up and then tack weld? Yeah, just kind of snug it up and then. Like Alright, so I got this one all tacked together and then, well, I got it to tack it together a little bit better and then remove this bushing. 
like I said earlier, so we don't burn it up. Weld it together and uh, get them on there. Well, they're so beautiful and clean on the floors. You could eat off of them even though they're stained. Um, Not for long. I know. <laughs> all I've done is swept while Corey's welding all that up. Um, but here we go. It is tack welded on there. Yeah, so we got the brackets all welded up, tacked to the frame. Now we gotta find the caster of this axle. So we got us a gauge finder. And the proper way to do it is be to pull both ball joints out and run a piece of uh, pipe through it and then find our caster that way. But what we're gonna do is just simply take a piece of metal and tack weld it from this upper ball joint and to the lower ball joint to this uh, housing here. And then we're gonna put this on there and find our caster. So, um, so there's zero, of course, but then we want to have the caster at around three to six or so. So I'll probably set it at five. So I guess what I'm getting at, since that's 90, we're gonna go to 85. Wait, it goes this way. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, still 85. And uh, that'll be where our caster is, because we want this upper ball joint to lay back towards the windshield of the car. So this thing will drive really good. And plus, if we get it wrong, we have adjustable heim joints, so we're, we're able to adjust the caster down the road. But I guess let's go find us a piece of metal, well, from here to here, and find our caster. Oh, we got plenty of that right there. <laughs> I know, because I just piled a bunch more on there. Oh, well, look at that. Perfect. Um, maybe. All right, so my plan is to take this piece of tubing here and weld it in between. And betwixt them? Yeah. Put it like that. And then just tack weld this into place. Look away. I'm talking to the audience. So there's that, and then rotate this around, grab this guy. So since this thing is at zero, I need the magnetic base to be over here. So we'll go, we're gonna go off this 90, and then we're gonna lay it back until it hits the 85 mark there. So we're gonna simply put this on there, see if I can. So there's 90, and then we're gonna go to 85. I think that's 85 there. It's hard to tell. Right, and there's 85. So now we're just gonna tack. Tack our axle to our jacket. <laughs> <laughs> kept wanting to rotate. I think that it's really, really close. If it is off a little bit, it just took off. Okay, that, hold. <laughs> You want me to get blocks here, and put them? Yeah, I can see it here. So that'll be too much. Okay, that should be five degree caster there. Tack weld it pretty decent. All right, <laughs> we'll see if everything's still where it goes. So that is about five degrees, five to six degree caster. We have adjustable heim joints, so if it is wrong, when we go to align this thing, uh, we'll be able to roll it forward or backwards. So now let's go grab our brackets and start lining everything up. All right. Here we are, we got our bracket. This bracket here is gonna go on this uh, axle like that. Right now I'm installing the other heim joints. Here are the heim joints that I'm using, these uh, rough country inch and a quarter heim joints. There's your part number if you need them. Um, I picked all this stuff up at Wheats Off Road, which is my dad's shop in Orleans. And uh, he's been a help getting um, these brackets and kind of helping me out trying to figure out what all I need. So what we're gonna be simply doing now is bolting this thing together. Gonna run a bolt through here. I always like running a inside washer 
for just the mock-up so that it's not so tight to try to reinstall it later. And then put this nut here. And then we're gonna just simply take this bracket, we'll have to snug it up, but this bracket will go something similar to that. And then our bar will go from here to here and from this bottom one to here. And we got some uh, PVC pipe, probably put it in there for now. <laughs> kinda need to know where this goes, but I'm gonna snug this up and we'll be right back. Okay. I gotta go get ready. Um, we're doing a fundraiser tonight at the restaurant. Normally we don't work, we're not open today, but I've gotta get ready, try to look presentable to serve a lot of people tonight. We actually, it's a lot of fun. This is the third year I think we've done it. And preachers from the local churches get to be waiters. So it's a lot of fun to kind of coach them. You know, normally I'm learning from them, but tonight they're gonna to learn from me. <laughs> Yeah, so once we get back, we'll go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead to town, go to my dad's shop and pick up my DOM tubing and stuff and uh, see if we can get this mocked up. So surely I'll have the pipe time you get home and then you can help me put it all back together. Are you going to go ahead and cut it or is it you're going to have to leave the hatch open and the PT? I'm going to go ahead and cut it and cope it while I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise I'm going to have to have a put it on the roof of the PT Cruiser. I got back from my fundraiser thing last night and there was not much that got done while I was gone. Except for I got the garage was very nice and clean. Um, he sold the plasma table while I was at work. So we have a lot of extra room to stack room firewood. For activities. No, stack firewood. Oh. So anyways, um, it's because he ran into another problem yet again so everything just keeps like snowballing we can't do this because of this we can't do this because of the steering we can't do yeah. the front suspension because we need to know where the axle goes but we don't know where the axle goes until we get a grill yeah so, so that's what we're doing today we're headed to um Worley's tractor salvage i think it's in camelsburg indiana so we're headed there to find the perfect tractor grill for the crosley once we get the grill we'll be able to put the front axle right in front of it and continue on. So that's where we're headed now and now I'm pretty excited. I've never been to this place. Every time we pass it, I'm like, let's go on a date there. Here we are. Um, now we don't know how old of tractors. Oh, I already see a grill. Yep. <laughs> you already seen the a grill. I'm international. Grill the red one. It was beautiful. Oh gosh, here we go. Really rusty one right there. There's an old Ford one right there, that white. It's got the hood and everything. Golly, yeah. there's all kinds of, well, I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked. Well, I, there's something right here. I didn't know you were that one right there. That is pretty that cool. That looks pretty good. Well, no, we need bigger, though, don't we? Well, probably. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that one in mind. Okay. Huh, I wasn't expecting this. Here's an app. That one's pretty cool, too. Ugh, I oh do my that gosh! Now. Ooh, I like that little the grill. Gauge. Yeah, the gauge. I mean, hmm. I don't even know. Get oh, look at that! Here. Look at that blue one with the headlights. And I really like that one. That other one is really cool. Well, I guess start picking stuff out that you like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look. Look at this lot. one. That one's got headlights. Which one? This one right here, or that one. This one, you could almost make your own. Oh, shell or yeah. like grill. That way you can put CWC in it. Yeah. I don't know. That's... This is really cool. I like this thing, whatever that goes on. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, Gee, I don't, I was just hoping yet. there's like one or two options. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the case. Let me see that other one. This is cool, that tractor. Here, here's the tractor grill we need. Right here. No, the thing's gone. Look, it just keeps going and going all the way back here. This is crazy. There's another Ford one with the headlights. See, that one I feel like had the emblem too, but it's missing. 
description. That blue yeah. one there. Here's one. See, it's missing the other one too. Yeah. Well, someone probably had a pull in tractor and wanted to redo it. But I, yeah, I don't think you can get any better than that wheat. Yeah. We were looking when we first walked in and I thought it was corn. <laughs> Corey said, that's wheat. So we might have to go with that. It was pretty cool. Just imagine all the forklifts that have been laid to rest here for mm -hmm. damaging Vikings. Yeah, go that way. That ain't stock. <laughs> <laughs> they were really relaxing while they were yeah, plowing the fields. Yeah, tap all to be comfortable. Yeah. It's a little bitty one right there. Well, it curls these little bitty. Oh, look at that one. Laying there. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. That was pretty cool. Which one you like better, that one or the first one? The wheat. All right. The it wheat. just got the two lights and everything. Yeah, so we were trying to figure out where to put the headlights on the Crosley, but that might solve all our issues, really. Yeah. Which one? That one that looks like Wally. Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, now what is? What is that? What kind of motor? That's some kind of and diesel because it's got an injection pump on it. That's, that's crazy. Big, big guy. As yeah. you all can tell, we know nothing about tractors. Um, so we just like to look at them because it's been a dream of ours to have a nice tractor. I, I had that one, that little putt-putt <laughs> tractor I bought I know. at the yard sale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we don't really know a whole lot about them. Just this junkyard is cool. Look at that one. It's got like four headlights in the front. Where? Right over here. Oh, what? That looks like a blower hood. No, thank you. Blower hood? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Does it not look like a blower? It looks like something. <laughs> There's another one of them hoods. A bunch of like... Knobs. Oh, the shifters? That'd be cool to have as the center console. That... That is a pretty good idea. One of them could be the wipers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think I'm going to be the guy that has to make all that work. And you can do it. I mean, not on my truck, but other people's vehicles have wipers that you built. What is it? Grill? Yeah. Let's see it. Well, you see it. Come here. <laughs> you see it. Well, that's you pretty cool. You put your own Corwick custom logo. That or... thing's a beast. Yeah. I mean, you said big. Yeah? You're saying put our own mesh in the face of it? Yeah, like, or we could get that one over there and fab it in here. Yeah. And put Cory Wheat Custom on it. That could be an option, too. I don't know if I like the two headlights just right up front. Stand it up. Let's look at it. I don't know. I mean, you could round out. Yeah. But that's heavy duty. You know? She's heavy duty. I don't know. We'll keep it in the options. <laughs> you like that one? You yeah. like that one or the other one better? Well, who, why do we just need one? <laughs> why do we need two? So we can have options. Okay. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Huh. That's... <laughs> Let me look over here. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hey, look at that one right there. It's got a brush guard on it. Honey, I'm, that's what I'm going to. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We're gonna need a... Man, that one's so cool. Uh-huh. That one's a beast. Dang. 
Yeah, but that'd be more like we cool in the garage to put yeah. stuff in. You can mount headlights to it though. But you'd have to have, that thing weighs more than the whole Crosley. Uh-huh, yeah, it'd be doing nose dives. You hit the brakes too hard. Found, I found a blue guy. Oh, look, there's another little. Yeah. That blue guy is cool. That says Oliver. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can put your own stuff in that. Mm -hmm. Which we could, those are just aftermarket headlights, so we could. Yeah, but we I don't do have the other part anything. on the bottom here. This part? Yeah. I don't think we'd need that part. Do you like that one? Well, you know I love the collar. Looks like we're getting into real old back here. Here, there's that side. Right there, that big guy. I think that's the back of a skid loader. Yeah. But it would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, diesel loader. I've seen better days. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we didn't come here. That's what you need. Let's ask him about that. What? The metal the, cart. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, that's cool. Then you could put Corey with custom on the bottom. Yeah. Well, this would work because it's flat, but you don't have a back to it. I didn't think we were having a back to it. I'm saying like the other one, the hood we were talking about cutting the back of the hood off. Yeah, I think I like the red one better. What you have in your, what you got. This one? Yeah, it has more. Does it have more of a lip on it? Or is it the same? I think it's the same. Just this one has a grate behind it. Wheat thing. Well, now we got to figure out. I honestly thought there's going to be like four options for us to pick from. And there's about 40 options yeah so now and the problem is we love old junk looking stuff so like this i would love to have that thing whatever those are that would be really cool to have a bunch of shelves rusty looking shelves he's ignoring me let's buy those rusty shelves look at that one that guy that looks cool You done told me the other one I picked out, you didn't like it because it had two headlights in the face. So we ain't getting that one. Uh, yeah, that's a little bitty guy too. I know, we need something. We have 25 inches in between the frame rails to work with. So what do you need that for? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It's probably wide enough. A little one there. There's a big right there in front of you. Yeah? It's a small. Oh, it's small? Yeah, it is. It's really cool, but it's small. We need a metal cart, Corey. Oh, gee whiz. What about behind you? Is it the same thing? Turn around. Yeah. yeah. It's got headlights on it. Yeah. I think I like that other one. I mean, I think that's the same thing. I think it's the same one, yeah. I like this. But the other one's, thing. yeah. Yeah, that other one had the same body line, so this is what we need. Okay. Is the top or bottom? I think I'm like that. Sure, it matters. That well, is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's nice. Mm-hmm. But I think the other two contenders are better. Okay. We um, couldn't decide. Well, I feel like you're right on me. We couldn't decide, <coughs> so we bought three because we like them all. I mean, if we could buy 50, we probably would have. All right, so we ended up with the three. They treated us pretty good on them. We got a bundle deal on three of them. We don't even need three, but now but, we have options. But we don't want them to, you know, not be here next time we yeah. come. So, so whatever could we do? We had to buy them all. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah, a there's lot. one right there. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uh, cool stuff here. We appreciate them letting us come out here and look around 
Um, my eyes were just everywhere. I keep yeah. seeing all this cool stuff. We could make a rat rod tractor. That'd be cool. Yeah. But yeah, let's uh, go pick up the ones and we'll show you once we get all three of them together. Which ones we got? Yeah, which ones we decided to get. So we're gonna need a bigger PT cruiser. <laughs> bigger PT cruiser, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna need a trailer. We can put the gas in right here. The gas tank's probably gonna be in the back. <laughs> I know. What do you got? Here she is. Oh, that thing's awesome. Miss America. I like how wide it is. It'll fill in the frame rails yeah, nice. Yeah, I think. Who says we're using this one? Probably me. Well, probably me. <laughs> There's you a little, look at this little guy. I know. That's, That's what we need. I know. Perfect. All right, where's the other ones at? The other. Oh, the there. other one's way over there. Yeah. Are we not getting that red and blue one then? Did he jealous though? <laughs> Is that your um, armor? Yeah. Looks nice. There goes your other grill you wanted. I know. But the three that we got are very, very beautiful. Say goodbye to your blower hood. <laughs> this is just too cool. It's probably good. I feel like water snakes would be all over, all about this. So, oh man, them tracks are cool. Oh, these? Yeah. These could be little Crosley doors. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Uh, I like this place. Tractor. Mr. Tractor. <laughs> we are coming up on the last piece here. Oh, I we already see it. Our groundhog here, so we had something to ride around it. <laughs> We'd have to really wash that thing. There she is here. Let me have that. Yeah, that was definitely worth worth the trip. That was pretty cool. And it was only 20 minutes from our house. Yeah, that's crazy. So if we knew we were going to buy three well, We uh, probably drills, would have taken the truck. We would have brought the truck. At least they won't blow out this way. But you know, we're not strapping them. They were probably all watching us out the window um because it probably looked like packing sardines into a little car and i didn't i still have other stuff in here such as a um pool float why do i have a pool float for the raft up oh, okay. oh golly oh. hannah's gonna run over someone I on am. That road. well good thing that we're in bright yellow <laughs> gee whiz but yeah we have three tractor grills back Jeez. here um one there there's one and then the huge white one it's hard to point when yeah. you're on the phone so i have to drive because i have to scoot the seat all the way up yeah we have so in order for me to or for us to fit this grill in here i'm like well i'll drive that's fine i mean i hate driving this stupid thing <laughs> this is your favorite vehicle we no. have <laughs> but once we get home we'll uh, start locking up the grills and seeing which one we like the best and uh Unfortunately, it'd be cool if we could let you guys decide which grill you guys like the best, but we don't have time we gotta, for that. Yeah, we gotta get this done. So I guess we'll see you back at the shop. <laughs> we got piled in here, homie. We are back. We have our three grills. Now we got to figure out which grill we want to use and come over here and I'll show you why we had to have a grill before we put the axle where it goes. So I put this tubing in here. The radiator goes back here. Well, I'm wanting to hide this piece of tubing, but we don't know where this axle goes until we get the grill. So if the, the grill comes out to here, the axle needs to be there. If the grill comes back further, we can move the axle back four inches. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna decide which We're gonna have a fashion show, a try-on haul <laughs> with the Crosley. Yeah, um, I kind of like this one because the original Crosley hood had a round circle like oh, this. Oh, true. I thought of that earlier. Um, and check this out, it's got a little wheat emblem in it. So I thought it was corn and Corey goes, no, I think that's um, wheat. So guess what? We had to have that one. We couldn't, we couldn't leave, what is going on? We couldn't leave without that one. Then we, um, a guy came out and helped us and he said, you know, can I help you look for anything? We're like, well, well we're just one. looking for everything. I know. Oh. And we told him, 
that we found this one back there and he said, I got a really cool one in the shop and he wasn't lying. That one is really freaking cool. So now we're gonna have a fashion show and see which one we like best on the Crosley. I personally like this one because it has the headlights, but that don't mean we can't put yeah. um, headlights on this. Look at this, it's WD-45, that's pretty cool. But- um, Washington County? <laughs> I don't know. But it won't really matter on the color on these things because we're painting, painting them anyways. I, I don't know. I kind of like this one, I think, because it matches the hood or the roof on the Crosley. Yeah, yeah I like that out. one. I'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, just try them on. Okay, let's, let's do it. <laughs> now, I know you think fur coats are in, okay? But really, tractor grills are in. This is what everyone should be wearing. You can work out and walk. Now, how am I supposed to? Well, um, I might have to move the axle a little bit more. Okay. Uh, you want me to fit that in there? <laughs> well, hold on. We'll have to go on the outside of it for now, probably. Oh, man. See, go over there and lower it down past that pipe a little bit. I like it. Let's go on the outside of the pipe. Bring it towards me. There, right there. And then we'll... We'll recess it in. <laughs> hold on. Just hold it there. Let me see if I like it first. So I'll cut a notch in that and slide it back towards yeah. the engine. Hold it up. Well, you're moving it enough. Alarm phone sleep. <laughs> All right. There's contestant number one. All right. Let me hold it for you. Hold it. I mean, if that looks too narrow, the white one's really going to be too narrow. I like this one. I think it needs to be at least probably that tall. But we can yeah. recess it. It'll be all the way. It'll be in further than that a little bit. But we kind of got to have the grill on there because see how that has an arch in it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to push the axle out. But I like this one. Mm -hmm. so contestant okay. number two. Now you need to model number two. Oh, model. That's your job. Okay, well. Now the red might throw us off, but at least it matches some of the red in there. This one. That one's wide enough for sure. Yeah, it's wide. Um. I mean, obviously I know it's gonna come down. Yeah. You're gonna say, hold it down. <laughs> well, that's where it could. We'll go down. Mm. I don't know. Here, let me let me hold it and use like. Okay. Oh, hello. Did you come for the fashion show? Probably like that. Hmm. I think that one's too big. Like that one could cover a Cummins motor versus, yeah. you know. Yeah, I don't know. There's no other. And that would match like valve cover. The oh, top of a, yeah. Well, that means we need to put 12 out in there. Not in that. See, Shide even thinks that's... So, probably not this one? No. I love that one. Well, that means it'll just be wall art. Yeah. All, All right. right. So the we one we've been this. waiting for. Well, you got you it. it well, I just model the, the shoulder pieces. These are... That's it. For real? It's like Mad Max in the front. I mean, it really is. It's pretty cool. Really? Let me, hang on, let me get a. That is pretty cool. And you know, the Crosley front ends were real narrow and long. You like that one? I let me, let me hold it up okay. for you. All right. I mean, it, it's It'd be long. longer. Hang on here. You have a lot of ears. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's, it's more like, reminds me of a rat 
No. You know, yeah. Like they're big front. Yeah, true. Feet. Yeah. Um, you I want... know because I got bit by one, but. No, you didn't get by a rat. It was a chickmunk. No. Oh. When I was little, I was at a pet store and I went like this. <laughs> I was leaning up against the cage looking at a cat and a rat literally bit my finger. So I do know. I thought you meant the time I gave you a baby squirrel <laughs> and it ended up being a full size chickmunk. <laughs> and it bit me and this little doll was like moving back and forth, digging into my finger. And that was horrible. That was like the worst pain ever. Yeah. And Corey like, oh man, it's just dangling by my finger. Yeah. <laughs> So that one? I think it looks like a rat teeth and everything. I, really I, I like think, it. not yeah. That's crazy because we were both dead set on this one, I and think. We really were. That one right there. Yeah. We thought, that'll be it. I already know when we get home. I did yeah, too. Th that's it. I like that one. Well, there we go. Good thing we bought three of them. Maybe just use like this logo here, the CWC logo, have yeah. it burned out and like Don't cock it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me like that. For sexual harassment. Um. But I really do. I think that's it for sure. All right, let's uh let's chop it. And plus, we got headlights. Yeah. You have a headlight facing forward and a headlight for underglow. <laughs> yeah, that one. Maybe we can have it like a you know cop cars. Yeah. You know, like a pivot one. Everywhere. Yeah. I like your idea. I like you're thinking. I guess let's grab some blocks and block it up, and then we have to cut a, a radius out of here so this will slide past, and this is going to hide this bar. Um, I did this without you guys knowing, and then last night I almost cut it out because I wasn't sure about it, but I think we'll just leave it in there and just notch this around it. Because yeah, otherwise... It's just going to look like this. Yeah. Well... You, know, you need something yeah. there. Yeah, because I was going to just cut the frame rail off and just leave it straight, but I ended up finding me a piece of pipe, and I like the way the frame looks, and there's still plenty of room for the radiator and everything in here. So, yeah, let's just take a notch out of here. Let that go past, and that can almost sit on the ground. That'd look pretty good. Yeah. So the hood that we thought we weren't using, we're using. All yeah, right. I could have swore that one would just be wall art because of the wheat. I thought it'd be really cool, but. That's it. That's it was like instant, too. You're just, yep, that's it. As soon as I stuck it up there. It's like when I met you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, dang, that's him. <laughs> so now we're on the fence. Since we do have that whole thing, do we leave that over the motor? And maybe like the parts of the motor that's gonna stick out, stick out or, but now we don't know if we should leave that like a nose on there or if we should just cut it out like a normal rat rod grill. But if we have all of it. Taking it and cut it like this and leave this front section on it. Yeah, but then you would need to angle it to where it comes out at the light. Yeah. I don't know if just cutting it straight off would. I'm so indecisive, this will take me forever. Yeah. almost need to pull the motor out so we can know where it's. We sits. are not pulling the motor out. And it ain't like you can just Google what a Crosley looks like with this front end. Yeah. Right. We're going to have to take this off, the motor out. We're going to have to pull the motor. But that's okay, because then it'll give us a more accurate of what we want to do. I don't... We can visualize it. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to pull the motor first. What are you thinking? I guess we're going to cut it. So now we're going to take a notch out of here so that slides past. Where's your shield and your gloves? Let's clean that a little. Pretzels and safety. Mm-hmm. There's no way you can see good out of that, Corey. Yeah, good. 
I brought out peanut butter pretzels and now <laughs> we can't stop chewing on them so we're barely talking to each other. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the first cut of many, I'm sure. What if this was like a really rare hood? We just run for it. <laughs> well, I know, where, I know where we can get more. Yeah. Now, do you know the roundness of it? Because that's going to matter. <laughs> well, we've got it drawn out here. Our professional here is going to cut that out. Yeah, so the plan is I'm going to cut it with the grinder here, and then we'll take the plasma cutter and cut the arch out of it. Do it on both sides, and then it should go over that piece of pipe. Good. That's why I use the grinder for everything. <laughs> We're going back to the old grinder. Trusty, rusty grinder. How's it look? Mm -hmm. Not right. bad. I, I can dress it out here, same. Let's see how good you did. Well, I cut it too narrow, I think. But you can always take some off. Okay. Well, we can still go back three inches. Yep. So that means we can take three inches off here yet. I'll find my marker. I don't know why you would lose it in this. All right, so we have it where it needs to be for now. I mean, obviously we're not gonna know exactly until the car, we, well, it's not exact right now, but that's pretty much where it's going. So we're gonna slide that to that. Yeah, so grab that side and let's pull it over here. Might as well grab a little bit of gas. Go up with that. Start to start back to where we was before we realized we needed the grill. So 
I got some uh, PVC pipe and we're going to make some link boards and kind of mock everything up to see if that's what we like. Is that going to the I think it barely clears it. It's perfect, really. Yeah. So let's grab our PVC pipe and uh, start making our link boards and then you guys can really see what I did. I got this Schedule 40 pipe and what we're going to be doing, these are going to represent our link bars. So if you want to go ahead and raise that one up and I'll measure it. So to the collar, we're at 27 inches. So I'm going to cut this pipe at 28 inches and then we're going to put a cope on it. So it'll, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but so it has a radius around this tube. And that'll be our first bar. So just going to simply cut this at 28. And then we can always um, cut some off if we need to. Alright, so there's our bottom link, and now we're going to run our top, so go ahead and... How am I going to know where to... It's all right, right? Point at it? Point at it. Alright, so long point is going to be... Yeah, but how do you 20. know what this is? Oh, you got to keep them equal, keep these at a quarter inch apart, so that's where that is. Alright, so we're going to take this, measure it here. Like 29 inches. So we're gonna take this, cut this one at 29. Don't mind. Uh, I cut my I cut my finger on the hood earlier. So this one is gonna go in here, but I'll have to put a pretty good size cope on that thing. I'm just going to simply take my marker, find my angle, cut it for probably a long time, and then that'll be our angle. So what we're going to be doing here in a second is going to get um, DOM tubing that I ordered. i got to run down to my dad's shop. He's got a, a coat machine with uh, the two inch whole salt on it that will coat this and we won't have to do it with the grinder. So that's not going to be painful for you guys to watch me trying to coat something with the grinder. We'll actually have the correct tool for the job. Then we can all see together what it's going to look like. There we have it. So that is going to be our, that's what our suspension is going to look like on the front. And then we'll put an airbag here. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. So now we got to just turn everything you see white into metal. And this way it gives us a good way to figure out our uh, caster later too. I have it at five, at five right now. But if we need to adjust it, we can just simply pop it off these brackets, adjust it in or out, depending on what the alignment on this thing needs, but there it is. So next up is, let's go to my dad's shop, Boots Off Road in Orleans, and let's get some tubing made for this thing. And eat. And we have heat. Eat. Oh, eat? Yeah, and we gotta eat. I thought yes. said, eat. and eat. No. I'm like, we have heat, I'm about to roast in here. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm tickled with it. Here we are at Wheats Off Road. And this is where the pipe is, and all the good tools. <laughs> yeah, those look good. Yeah, these are going on the Crosley. Those things are awesome. I know they're bigger than I thought. Yeah. Think those will work? I think it'll work. <laughs> I do. All right, homie, you ready? I reckon. <laughs> I gotta go find my piece of metal. Or my pipe. Action. All right, so here we go. We got our piece of PVC pipe. 
We're down here at my dad's and we got this two inch quarter wall DOM tubing. Now, all right, now we're going to transfer <laughs> this piece of PVC pipe into metal. So let's get cutting. They have fancy glasses here. I'm going to really be safe. And do I look smarter? Yeah, Good. you do. <laughs> Until you open your mouth. What? <laughs> No, we don't know if we can cut what we brought in. We'll leave it to the professionals. Professional copers? Mm -hmm. You gotta get done dealing with these We're bringing in the trained professional coper. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I guess they were talking about me before I got here and they said, if that's the piece I think they're gonna be uh, cutting, they're gonna have fun with it. So hopefully we can cut it. But I don't think the- I don't think it'll cut all the way. <laughs> well, some of the way's better than none of the way. Are you still on lunch break? Right. Yeah, I would take a three hour lunch. <laughs> So, so what's that? That's the steepers that are going. And clear. When, when you go steeper? Where's our PVC pipe right here? Oh, here it is. Let's see what we got. Close? It's going to be right here. It's pretty close. I think I might grind some of it. <laughs> Are you the oil boy? I'm the oil boy. What's the you want to hang with that? We gotta go further? Yeah, right in this case, or what? Yeah. I think we stripped it out. Now what? I'm going to cut it. Even if we put a new hole saw blade, it won't work? Wow. I'm going to try one, but... So, I'd like it to. But oh, but the machine will do this one. Right? Yeah, do that one. All right, well, this is not going to work, so we're going to have to go back to the grinder and try to <laughs> cope with it. That won't work. So, this machine won't cope this, so we're going to have to just kind of do it old school and try to match these angles with the grinder. Mm -hmm. I guess we could do that at home. I think you can cut it all right. Yeah, plasma cutter really probably be better or easier. Easier, yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. I don't need it. I'm busy. You look good in your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you don't need that. All right, so we're back from my dad's shop. So thank you, Jake, and my dad, Mark, for helping us get these pieces of pipe coped and it's kind of a disaster because the cope machine wouldn't cope that long of a cope. So <laughs> we ended up having to use a plasma cutter and all that fun stuff. And we finally got it. It looks great. So thank you guys for the help. But we're back here at the shop and we got, got it put in place. This is pretty much what this thing's going to look like. And now we got to weld it all together and all that. We're going to 
take all this apart real quick. I mean, it won't be that difficult. Uh, take this apart, get the grill and hood, if you want to call this a hood, um, off of here. Put the motor and trains back in it, so then we can really know how this is going to fit. My idea for this is keep it long-ish, and then any part that hits the motor, cut it out. Make that go around the motor like it was ripping out of there. So, that's our plan. All right, so as you can see, we got the motor back in, but this can't be like this. So my original plan was to cut it, like follow this where the headlight is and go up, and it'll probably end about here. I don't want to All right, let's see what this does. Well, change of plans. Um, it's just going to be a lot to trace down everything that is going to hit. And also, there's not going to be a left lot of material left time we do cut it yeah, all out. Yeah, it might be up here and then zigzag all around, which will look cool. But then again. We can also do second plan, which will also look cool. And then if that plan doesn't work, we'll just cut it behind the headlight straight. Yep. But I think we're going to go from behind the headlight and arch up here, make it point around here, and then all the way back, another yep. arch. I think that'll look good. Because also we're, not that we can't cut this out, like where we got drawed to go down, but we still got to go down a good six to eight inches. And we're also going to throw a twin turbo on top of it in this journal area. So there's not going to be a lot of hood left the time we do all the piping and stuff. So we're just going to arch it up to a point and go with, it. go with it. And then if we don't like that, then we'll cut it right behind the headlights and just straight. But first we're going to arch it first. Mm -hmm. So what we did was she drew what she wanted on this green piece of paper. And then I'm like, I don't like that. Let me try again. And it was exactly the line underneath. So. Yeah, so what this is going to be, this will be our jig. We mark center here of the light. So then, and then it's on this uh, body line here. So then we can flip this over to the other side like this. And sorry, I was a little everywhere with the camera there. And that'll be our line for the other side. So yeah, let's cut it. You know, some Ford lover, Ford tractor lover, is just so upset with us right now. Well, you know, we make everybody mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's always mad at us for something. <laughs> right now, I feel like I'm gonna get cut. I know, you need, all right, uh, well, I about preached to you about that. Okay. Look, they're right there on top of the Crossley. On top of the Crossley. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, good thing we cut it off, probably did. Why? 
No. See? Yeah. So I say just leave it there and let's mm -hmm. just go with it. There it is, for the most part. A little sad, droopy eye over there, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Please don't fire me. Okay. <laughs> We're going to put like some kind of safety measurement here. Safety? What's safety? Well, then we're going to have to put a freaking boundary gate so no one touches it. We could put that, um, that door edge. Yeah, like the window. Mm -hmm. Somebody will cut their finger. I know. I'll be in trouble. All right, so here you have it. Look how close this headlight is to this pulley. It'll be all right. We can adjust it up a little bit, but <laughs> this thing is sweet. Hannah's cleaning up. We got a... Little snowstorm supposedly coming, so we got to get Hannah's Viking back in here. If you notice, it is not in here no more. It's so beautiful. But, um, yeah, we got to have the Viking in because the windows are down. And instead of just rolling the windows up, let's just bring it in. Um, so and good. then it'll be nice and warm with uh, Steve over there. Yeah. <laughs> My man, Steve. I think the front end looks really good on here. And it kind of, it kind of, it's kind of funny because Hannah... We named this thing the mouse trap, and as soon as we got this front end on this because thing, of you guys, someone—I mean, I—it was actually was okay. It was actually uh, Dylan Michaels, Cody Street's buddy. He said the mouse trap, and then it kind of stuck with us. Yeah, and people are commenting that on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And um, now it is a giant mouse. I like we're it. We trapped inside. <laughs> it is awesome. I love how we kind of. Like I said, originally, I was kind of bummed out that you could see that bar, and I wanted the grill in front of it, and I was going to cut that bar out, but I'm happy with it. It looks good, and... It kind of looks like the mouse is chewing on a bone. <laughs> the axle's the bone? Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> you are silly. All right, a little bit of progress. I'm going. Okay. Go. A little bit of progress is better than no progress. Like my teacher, my math teacher, always would say is... Um, what did she say? <laughs> okay, I hated what math. I hated, say? I didn't hate the teacher, but I hated math, okay? I hated oh. <laughs> doing well, what did she say? She said something along the lines of, some is better than none, but all is better than some. So here we are with some that's better than none. Um, <laughs> so, <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can remember that quote, just... Uh, it's from Hannah's math teacher. Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, anyways, we got some work done on the Crosley, and the front suspension setup is just mocked up. We got to go through and weld it all up, but we're going to say that for another video. Another day. Another day or whatever, but we have wheels and tires. They should be here. The tires did show up today. The wheels should be here Friday. I'm excited to show you guys that. We'll take a video of me and Hannah mounting the new set of wheels and tires. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for you guys to see them. And um, so yeah, I, I guess uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. We also have new hats on the website, so go there while they're still available. And uh, I guess have a great week and we'll catch you guys on the next video next Wednesday at six. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And also real quick, I really appreciate everyone who watches it's crazy to me, as I was um, serving yesterday, a family asked if I had a YouTube channel. So it's just crazy to me that sweet little families like that watch us. Um, we do appreciate each not, and every one of you. We hope we can meet all 28,000 of you. So. I'm not sure if they're watching us to learn or what not to do. Well, either way, it's edu educational, whether you take it as, oh, I could, that looks, you know, pretty good, like I could do that, or... Don't do that, you know, we, I don't know what. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure either, but... <laughs> well, we, we appreciate you either way. <laughs> we do appreciate each and every one of you guys. We will catch you guys on the next video. See you next week. No, just, so they can hear us better? Just smell real big. What are we doing? Oh. <laughs> I feel like Forrest Gump sitting on a park bench. <laughs> Where's Jenna, eh? Here I am. <laughs> For one, there's hat. Not beanies, so I don't know why I pointed to mine. Um, shrimp. Shrimp. What shrimp?
Oh, Forrest Gump. I didn't know we were Forrest Gump. You said you feel like Forrest Gump. I felt Gump. like Forrest Gump earlier. I didn't feel like Forrest Gump right now. That one pose, it's like. Why did a chicken cross the road? I don't know. Because? <laughs> What exactly are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> well, there was a really cute <laughs> picture that I've seen um, from a photographer. And these girls, like, they have their hands like this, but their legs are in the air in front of their car. Mm -hmm. Like a pinup. Obviously, I'm not, I'm more of a Rosie the Riveter type girl. Phoenix, water. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right, we're out of here.